Welcome to Sex Positive Gaming, I'm Annie, and today we're going to look at Innocent Witches. This is a parody trainer game available for free on the PC, Mac, and Android. You are tasked with running a magical university in a world that seems remarkably similar to the Harry Potter universe. I think that the biggest difference is that Innocent Witches is full of adults and does not have any of J.K. Rowling's apparent obsession with torturing and abusing children that seems to be at the heart of the Harry Potter series. This makes for a much more lighthearted experience than the crueler world dreamt up by Darth Rowling. It's funny because usually parody trainer games tend to be a much darker mirror of the source material. It's almost immersion breaking in how much nicer the world and the people are in Innocent Witches. The gameplay is similar to what you'd expect in an adventure game, but with a crucial change. This is an incredibly text and plot heavy experience. The developers, Sat Crab, realize that many people will skip all of the dialogue and context, so they offer three levels of assistance. The first being the full experience, the second being helpful nudges in the right direction, and the third is the full no one ever reads anything hand holding experience that you may be familiar with in World of Warcraft or Skyrim. I actually think this is a novel way to address the novel length conversations and expositions that appear throughout the game. The biggest strength of Innocent Witches is in its art. It's just incredible and unmatched in the industry. The animations make their surroundings feel alive. I wouldn't call the currently limited number of sexual interactions animated, but they still look awesome even if they are silent. The music is calming and beautiful and truly mirrors the pastoral nature of the universe of this alternative Hogwarts. The flavors in this game are currently limited as there is very little sexual content. They include BDSM, corruption, fantasy, college, toys, outfits, voyeurism, power exchange, and, of course, training. I expect there will be a lot more content as development of the game continues. The pace of development is the biggest concern with Innocent Witches. Work began in the summer of 2016 and the game is only at the start of its second chapter. There is an incredibly detailed roadmap covering the next year, but most of the scheduled builds involve revisions to Chapter 1. Currently, I'm not sure which will finish first, Innocent Witches, Star Citizen, or Our Species' First Colony on Mars. I mean, come on, the Great Pyramid was built in 20 years, and they didn't even have house elves. There is a lot of content, just not a lot of sexual interactions. There are so many things to do and explore including minigames and achievements and I really want to like the game. But it does seem like there is not a lot of training in a game that is supposed to be a trainer. It feels like a Michael Bay movie without any explosions. I know, the very idea is so upsetting that I should have included a trigger warning. Or would this count as a lack of trigger warning? <laughs> Anyways, I'm confident that Innocent Witches will eventually be one of the best and most beautiful adult content games ever. I'm just not sure when that will be. The Patreon has seen massive growth over the last year and a half, which means the developers can add more artists. It appears that once the story is overhauled, the art will continue to be the biggest production hurdle. I want to see this game succeed because I love Harry Potter, I love this industry, and I love what I know this game can eventually be. Let me know what you think. What is an acceptable development cycle for an indie game? Am I being too hard on Innocent Witches? What is the best house and why is it Hufflepuff? And most importantly, why are wands used as toys? They are so unsanitary and you can just conjure up much better objects. And as always, no shaming, just gaming. Thanks to all this month's supporters on Patreon. I wouldn't have been able to do this without you.